I'm just going to show you how the study was done, and then you will understand what learned helplessness is and how it pertains to people. That's what psychology is, right? All right, so this is the experiment. It was done by Dr. Martin Seligman. He did the study with dogs in the 70s and discovered learned helplessness. Imagine here, like there's a box, and this box is divided into two compartments. A compartment here, and there's a compartment here. So there's an opening up here, okay? What Mar Dr. Martin Seligman did in this study was he took dogs, and he took two types of dogs. He took took a set of dogs that were raised in kennels and uh, another set of dogs that were donated to science. He took these dogs and he would place them in one compartment. And in this compartment or on the bottom was in like an electrocuting mat. Whenever he placed the dogs in this compartment to where they were electrocuted, he watched their behavior. What he discovered was all of the dogs learned to shimmy through this little hole to get over to the compartment to where they're safe. Naturally, that's what we expect. Then he took it one step further and decided to experiment with what would happen if he took away like the dog's ability to shimmy on over into safety. So their bright idea was to put these dogs in straight jackets and electrocute them. Ethics aside, he put the dogs in straight jackets. He put them in this compartment and he electrocuted them. And what happened was initially the dogs showed some distress. But what all the dogs did then was whenever they learned that they weren't able to get out of the straight jacket, they just kind of like fell over, laid there and kept getting electrocuted because they really couldn't do anything else, right? So then they took this study to the next step of, okay, well, let's take the dogs out of the straitjacket now and put them back into this scenario. What's going to happen? And what they discovered was some of the dogs did shimmy back over into safety when they were re-electrocuted, but then some of the dogs did not. The dogs that shimmied back over into safety were the dogs that were donated from the shelters. What they learned and discovered was that the dogs that were raised in um, kennels, they were already raised with limitations. They were already raised to understand helplessness. They were already raised within restriction and control that they had no desire or motivation when they were re-electrocuted in this chamber again to go back and seek safety. Like they just continued to stay in that harmful, suffering environment because that is what they learned was normal. Interesting, huh?